The first of its kind mobile medical unit has been deployed here in Kelowna, where nurses, physicians and respiratory therapists are participating in different simulations for educational purposes. So uh, what our team does is uh, we have a critical care nurse and a respiratory therapist to transport critically ill patients. The patient's initially seen at the smaller hospital and if they need monitoring or drugs, we can basically give the patient IC level care uh, on the road. So we're basically like a, a mobile intensive care unit. It has everything that we need to do simulations. So right now we have a high fidelity doll basically that looks like uh, an adult human and can talk and can blink and breathe and we're running simulated uh, cases. In this case, it's gonna be a, a cardiac arrest case. We have four teams. So we have a team in, in Trail, in Cranbrook, Penticton, and Kamloops. And we're really unique. There's no other teams that work quite like this uh, in Canada or in, in, in the world. It has beds and monitors. You have oxygen. It basically can function as, as, a, as a small, complete hospital. There's actually an area where surgeries could be done. And uh, the idea of this unit is, is that it can travel someplace if there's a need. I'm from Penticton. If we had a natural disaster and we didn't have enough, enough space, the mobile medical unit could come and give us that extra room. This mobile medical unit stays in Vancouver until it is needed elsewhere within the province. For Castanet News in Kelowna, I'm Miriam Halpenny.